Hey everybody, it's Mr. Giles with another paint.net tutorial. Um, lots of different things on this channel, but uh, today uh, a viewer, uh, subscriber, future subscriber asked this question. Can you do a video tutorial on how to use the gradient tool in paint.net to make a picture fade into white in all directions? I cannot seem to find this tutorial on YouTube. If you know of one, send me the link. Uh, okay, well, I'm gonna help you out, I think. I think I'm gonna help you out. Um, so let's just... Uh, Let's get started. I just found a picture and just threw it in paint.net. This is Phil Kagey. Uh, he's a, a musician that I really like. Um, I went on and I did I did do a search and my search was how to fade a picture into black um, or any other color. And so what this guy was saying, uh, and his name is D DJ Isves. DJ Isves? I don't know. Anyway, um, he said add a new layer, fill it with black or white and move it below. Okay, so the first thing I did here was, I have a lot of folders open, I uh, took a layer, I made, I just made a new layer with a new layer button, I dragged it beneath, and then I uh, selected white, and I filled that layer with white, and you can see that layer is white. Okay, then it's suggesting uh, now that you've added your new layer, uh, use the gradient tool set to linear. Now, I've, I, this is wrong, I think. To do what you want to do, I, I have a different technique. It says alpha channel only, which I didn't, I tried to figure out what the heck that even meant. Um, if you press and hold shift, you can do a perfectly vertical gradient. Alternatively, you can draw black. Anyway, that sort of was what we were looking for. Um, so what I did was I click on the picture layer, which is this one. Let's make sure that we're on the right one. Yep. Okay and I went to the um, gradient tool and I went to uh, diamond and I went right to the middle and I have my color set to white, white and black in this case because I have black in the middle of the picture. So you might want to find what's in the middle of your picture. This picture works because there's a, a dark center but I'm going to just try this anyway. I'm going to drag out, oops, I got to put this control Z, sorry. I got to be on the picture layer and then drag out and there you go that sort of gives us the uh, fading to white now I, I, can I do that a little better probably let's, let's try I'm gonna hold shift when I do it and it sort of locks it in and there you go you got your picture sort of fading out to white now um, you could probably try this with different um, effects this fades white uh, that, that's pretty cool too so you really got to play around with it um, wherever you start this one. Uh, that one doesn't look too bad. I'm going to hold shift. No, that didn't do it. Let's, let's undo a few times here. I'm going to go back. I'm going to go back to this, turn this layer on. I'm holding shift. There we go. I like that one. So I'm on this one right here, radial. I'm holding shift and I'm dragging the circle up. That gives you a nice... And if I get that centered right in the center of the picture... It fades out to white. So there you go. I mean, I had to, I'm playing around with it too, but um, there is one way to do that. And of course, you can change your color um, to different colors and, and get different effects. Um, but then I'm going to hit enter. There's my picture fading into white. I hope that helped. I hope that did what you were looking for. Um, if you guys have anything else that you'd like to know how to do in paint.net, pivot, um, a few of those other programs that, that I work with on a frequent basis, please feel free to ask and um, have a great, great day. Oh, and subscribe. Yeah, I meant subscribe. Subscribe. Uh, there's a subscribe button and notifications. And we have all kinds of videos that come out. So they're not all tutorials. So, you know, I understand if you unsubscribe because you get irritated by the other videos. But um, there are also lots of tutorials. Thanks. Have a great day.